Facebook is still one of the most popular social media platforms in the world, but it does sometimes run into problems that you might not have much control over. My name is Yadullah. You're watching Candidate Technology, and in this video, we're going over a few general fixes that you can try if Facebook isn't working for you. Generally speaking, uh, any issues with Facebook would most probably be caused by server issues at Meta. Now, Meta doesn't really have a platform page where you can monitor these changes. But if you just search for is Meta down or is Facebook down, you will come across a bunch of websites, uh, including Down Detector, which is one of the most popular sites for checking whether or not a particular service is down. As you can see, at the moment, there are no indicated uh, outages or problems at the moment. So chances are uh, your Facebook app will run fine. In case it doesn't, uh, you can try a few things out. The first one is to look for an update. Now, if you're an Android device, head over to the Google Play Store, tap on your profile icon, then tap on Manage Apps and Device. And then as you can see, my phone is automatically checking for updates. If I tap on it, you can see that there are a bunch of apps that need to be updated, including Instagram, Messenger, and uh, a bunch of other stuff. So if you see an update uh, pending here, make sure you go ahead and update the app. I'm just going to update all of them just to be sure, because being on the latest version almost always uh, solves a problem that you might be having. If you're on the latest version of the app, chances are a corrupt file in your app's cache could be causing these issues. To fix this, we are going to go to our settings app, then tap on apps, tap on see all apps and find Facebook in this list. Once you find Facebook, go ahead and tap on the storage and cache option. And in here, you will see the options of clearing the app's cache and the app storage. We recommend that you start with the cache uh, and then move on to storage if clearing the cache does not fix your problem. Do keep in mind that if you delete the app's storage, you will have to log into your accounts again. So if you don't remember your passwords, this is a good opportunity to go ahead and reset them. Alternatively, uh, if once you're in the app info section, you can also try force stopping the app and then launching it again. This kind of works as a soft reset. So when you tap the force stop button, uh, your phone will ask if you want to force stop an app, go ahead and click OK. And that completely kills all of the apps uh, processes that are running on your phone. So if you force stop an app, go ahead and then launch it again it will take slightly longer to open up but it should open up regardless just fine and you should be able to use it last but not least if nothing else works uh, you can also always try reinstalling the app as that tends to also get uh, better results and usually fixes problems now to do this we're going to go to phone settings once again and as I mentioned before, go to apps, go to see all apps. If you've recently used your Facebook app, it should appear right here. And then you can tap the uninstall button to remove the app from your phone. Your phone will ask for a confirmation. So go ahead and give it one. Wait for the app to be removed from your phone. Uh, in my case, uh, as you can see, it is uninstalling Facebook at the moment. So we will wait until this process is complete. Right, as you can see, uh, the app has been uninstalled and I have automatically been sent out of the menu. So at this point, I will close it, head back over to the Google Play Store and we're going to search for Facebook once again. As you can see, you can now go ahead and tap on the install button. The app will be downloaded and installed again. And then you can just go ahead, log in with uh, your credentials and you should be good to go. As you can see, it's now installing the app. And uh, chances are, if you've saved your login data uh, and you haven't cleared the storage of the app yet, you may still be able to log in without your credentials. 
If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.